Breaking news in the Andrew Brown Jr. shooting. The Pasquotank County Sheriff just released the names of the deputies involved in that deadly shooting. Sheriff Tommy Wooten says Daniel Meads, Robert Morgan, and Aaron Llewellyn are still on administrative leave while the North Carolina SBI investigates. He says they are the three deputies who shot at Brown. Thank you for joining us today on 13 News Now at 4. I'm Philip Townsend. And I'm Janet Rhodes. The sheriff says four other deputies involved did not fire their weapons. They're back on duty tonight. Investigative reporter Evan Watson is live in Elizabeth City with this update. Sheriff Wooten says he released the names of the deputies involved in the shooting of Andrew Brown to deliver on his, quote, promise of transparency and accountability. Now, the, the, the identities of those officers are also public record under North Carolina law. Wooten says four other deputies and members of the sheriff's office did not shoot at Andrew Brown and, quote, deserve to be reinstated to active duty. Those four deputies are back on the force now. He said Meads, Morgan, and Llewellyn will stay on leave until the SBI finishes its investigation. Brown's death certificate says he died of a gunshot to his head. In an independent autopsy, reports Brown was shot five times. Wooten had asked Pasquotank County Judge Jeff Foster to release body camera videos to the public, but the judge denied that request yesterday. The judge told the sheriff's office to blur the identities of the deputies before showing the videos to the family. The Pasquotank County Sheriff's Department is ordered to blur or redact all facial and identifying features of the officers shown prior to disclosure. That means facial features, name tags, any identifying information of those officers. In the release today, Sheriff Wooten says our town is united behind a quote, careful, serious, and impartial review of everything that happened. Wooten promised transparency and accountability going forward while not interfering with the investigation. The releasing of these officers' names, he says, is a step towards that. Reporting live in Elizabeth City, Evan Watson for 13 News Now. All right, Evan, thank you. And there are five sheriff office videos showing how Pasquotank County deputies shot and killed Andrew Brown. Judge Foster said he'll reconsider releasing those videos to the public in 30 to 45 days after the SBI finishes its investigation. The public is closer to answers they've been searching for with the release of those deputies' names. But tonight, the community tells 13 News Now they're no closer to closure. Alex Littlehales picks up our team coverage in Elizabeth City. Alex. Yeah, Philip, days of protesting have shown that this community is not only dedicated, but committed and united in their fight for justice. And uh, not all of the signs of support that you see are going to come in the forms of active and vocal protesting. When you drive through the town of Elizabeth City here in North Carolina, you will find small, more maybe silent ways of people honoring this movement. For instance, we talked to one local artist who has a studio here in downtown Elizabeth City. She she painted over her mural the words no justice, no peace, just down the street from the Pasco Tank Sheriff's Department here in Elizabeth City. And throughout the town, you can also see various Black Lives Matter flags, Black Lives Matter signs throughout different homes in the area. And talking to some of those families, actually, we knocked on a couple doors today. You can tell this story still weighs heavy on the hearts of these lifelong residents. It's just senseless to me. I mean, because when are we going to stop dying? When are they going to stop killing us? I, I'm, uh, I'm afraid for my grandkids. Uh, it's, it's, it's just bothering it, it just bothers me. It hurts. It hurts. And the man you just heard from, Jeff Christian, actually knew Brown Jr. Coming up on 13 News Now at 5, hear what he and other lifelong residents of Elizabeth City here have to say. Elizabeth City, I'm Alex Littlehales, 13 News Now. All right, Alex, thank you for that update. And we know public and private funeral services for Brown are scheduled for this Sunday and Monday.